up guys, I'm Colleen. This is a story time. I've had a lot of people ask me over the years to talk about my experience on Nickelodeon because I was on an episode of Victorious back in the day. And what some of you might not know is I worked for Disney, yes, at Disneyland. I performed at the parades, but I also was on the Disney Channel. What? So I thought I would expose Disney and Nickelodeon right now and tell you my experience working with them many, many moons ago. So way back in the day, like nine-ish years ago, when I first started doing Miranda, not many people knew about Miranda and I was hustling, honey. I was working at Disneyland, I was doing community theater, I worked at Macaroni Grill, I worked at princess parties, and I was also auditioning and just saying yes to every opportunity that came my way. I wanted to be in this business, I loved performing, I loved entertaining, so anything that came to me, I was like, yes please. So first I'll talk about my Disney experience. I worked at Disneyland, I loved it, I have tons of stories from that if you guys wanna hear it, but right now I'm gonna talk about being on the actual Disney channel. There was this guy who was a fan of Miranda, and not really many people knew who Miranda was back then, and I'm pretty sure he Facebook messaged me and just said he worked for Disney and he wanted me to be a part of this Disney Channel commercial. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it. I'm gonna try my hardest to find it so that I can play it for you. But basically it was a really weird experience. I didn't know what I was getting into because this guy was just like on Facebook and he was just like, hey, do you wanna be in a commercial? And I was like, uh, sure. He sent me a call sheet and I just kind of showed up. I, I literally, I had no idea what it was even about. I didn't know what the commercial was for. I didn't know what I was doing. I knew literally nothing. So I showed up on set and it was a bunch of children and me. I was in my 20s, like I was definitely way older and awkward, AF, like I didn't know, like I thought I was gonna have like a speaking role and it was gonna be like my big break, but really I was like literally an extra, which is fine, no shade to extras because doing extra work is super fun. But it was just such a weird experience because you would think to like be on a Disney Channel commercial or on the Disney Channel, you'd have to go through a big audition process and like go through all this crazy stuff. But literally this guy just Facebook messaged me and said, hey, do you wanna be in a Disney commercial? I love Miranda Sings and I was like, sure. It was about like planting trees and giving back to Mother Earth. I don't remember. I'm not kidding though, it was children and me. So I felt really awkward. I felt like the older aunt who just like snuck her way onto this set. But yeah, it was super random. And for like a year, people would message me and just be like, oh my God, did I just see you on the Disney channel for 0.1 seconds? But it was really fun and it was a really cool experience for me to like be on a set and experience all of that. Everyone was super nice. I don't really have any tea or drama, but it is a little known fact that pretty much nobody knows about me. So I want, I really hope I can find the commercial. Oh, that'd be so cool if I could find the commercial and show it to you guys. Let me guess, you did a quest that encourages you to head outside and find a plant count. The world a greener place. I did my part by volunteering and planting lilies. I was inspired after seeing them growing at pixiehollow.com. Looks like we're all gonna earn a green thumbs up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brought to you by the online world of Pixie Hollow. All right, so now for Nickelodeon. So yes, I was on Nickelodeon. I was on an episode of Victorious. Um, a lot of people have asked me to make a video about this for many years and I just never have because I don't think it's that interesting of a story, but here you go. Some of you might know I'm friends with Ariana Grande who was on Victorious for many years. So I used to go to set and visit her because we were really good friends. And so I'd go and hang out with her in between scenes and takes and watch them film the show. And she is the sweetest and the most supportive person of all of her friends and anyone in her life. So she was always showing people my videos and she showed Dan Schneider, the creator of Victorious, my videos and he really liked them. Literally, it was so random. Again, it was just not how this industry works at all, but Dan Schneider just called me and was like, hey, do you wanna be on an episode of Victorious? And I was like, bitch way. And I just was like, of course, oh my God, what a dream come true, this is crazy. It, I, it happened so fast. It was like the next day I got a call from like the costume designer to get my sizes. I got a call from like the production manager to get all my information, to fill out paperwork. And I was on set like two days later. It was so fast, it was crazy. They wrote me into the episode. I got to sing like an audition piece. Remember, it blew my mind. I showed up and there was a dressing room with my name on it, which was like insane to me. They had like a costume de designer who gave me clothes for Miranda. And I remember thinking at the time, like I don't know if Miranda would ever wear this stuff, but I didn't care. I was like, I will wear a plastic bag. I don't care what you put me in. I was just so grateful to be there. And then I remember the craziest moment was walking on set and seeing like a little room, like a, one wall essentially that was like Miranda's bedroom that they had made. And I remember being so blown away. Now I talked about when I did Haters Back Off, the Netflix show, walking on set for the first time and how mind blowing that was and how I was just like blown away that there was a whole house made for Miranda Sings. But it wasn't the first time something like that had happened to me. The first time it had happened to me was on the set of Victorious. I remember walking on set and being like, that 
whole wall was made just for Miranda Sings. Like it was just made for my character and it was like so shocking. I couldn't believe it. It was really an amazing experience. So I got on set and they were like, just go for it. So I did it and they're all laughing and everyone was really supportive on the set of Victoria's. They'd all laugh at all the jokes and applaud for you and were just really supportive. The director was super nice. But I was in and out of there so fast. So I got to set and I think I sat around for like six hours, which is typically how it goes on a set. And I probably was filmed for five minutes and that was it. But that episode still airs and I still get tweets from people all the time. We're like, I just saw you on Victoria's and we shot that so many years ago, like maybe six or seven years ago. Like it was a really long time ago. But that was my first experience being on like an episode of something. So it was really, really exciting for me. And I am like forever grateful to the Grandes for just being so generous and showing my videos to the director and the creator. They're just really supportive, amazing, sweet people. Yeah, that's my experience on Disney Channel Nickelodeon. There's not much to expose. They were both really fun, exciting experiences for me. And I worked with Disney a lot. I worked with Disney when I worked at Disneyland. I've done brand deals with Disney. I've gone on the Disney lot and worked with different creators and people. And I love that company. I think everyone who works Disney is really nice. I've never had a bad experience with Disney at all. But yeah, this is not sponsored, not ad. I'm just telling you guys the story because a lot of you have asked for it, so that's why I'm talking about it right now. By the way, I have tons of stories like this uh, because when I was first starting out, I did anything and everything I could. I performed in basements, I performed in bars, I performed at little girls' birthday parties, I performed with an entire cast of naked men as Miranda. I have a million stories from my years as a performer. I've been saving all these stories my entire career to tell and haters back off. But now that that's over. <laughs> I figure I can just tell them to you guys here. Let me know what you guys want to hear in the comments below and I'll tell another story another day. All right, I love you guys. Hope you're having a wonderful new year and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Bye.